right y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl ellie talks money and in today's video we are going over some businesses you can start if you do not want to be a creator if you do not want to be on camera if you just want to collect your coins and go to sleep okay we are going to talk about some of those businesses and i like to call them you know unsexy businesses right they're not the coolest but they do bring that bag so grab your notebook grab a pen and let's get into these gems ellie talks money to create the better days business money life the ellie way all right, y'all, so number one unsexy business that you can start if you want to be invisible, right? You don't want people to know it's you. You don't want to create content. You don't have to. That would be vending machines and ATM machines, okay? Now, what I also love about these businesses is you can start these with less than $3,000. You can typically buy a vending machine from vendingmachine.com, from Amazon, or vendingdepot.com for $1,500 to $2,500. And vending machines will, on average, make you anywhere between $800 to $1,200 a month, all right? Now, in my academy, I give you guys vending machines scripts I give you guys the contracts that you all need so just comment vending machines down below and I will make sure I give you those links now very similarly ATM machines also cost less than three thousand dollars sometimes you can get a really fancy one for like 4k but these can make you anywhere between a thousand to two thousand dollars a month just depending on the high traffic area so let's kind of break down the logistics behind these businesses and how you can start making money without ever being seen so vending machines of course you know you're going to put either snacks drinks um, products electronics hair lashes band-aids right what I love about vending machines is you can pretty much choose whatever you're going to put based on the location so let's think about college campuses right college campuses there are kids I mean, or adults, young adults running around, they need stuff. I know when I was in college, I definitely did not have my whole life together. So you always need something. You might put in your vending machine, uh, pens, papers, right? You might put calculators, you might put snacks, you might put things that they need for class, like get creative. You can even put headphones and electronics, right? Now, that's going to be depending on what niche you're going to go after. One of my students has a beauty vending machine and in her vending machine, she sells mascara, lashes, and hair bundles. I mean, come on, right? And so the great thing about a vending machine is you really only need to service the machine when your product runs out. So if someone used up all the Cheetos, then you go check on your machine every two to three weeks generally to see what needs stocking, collect your cash, and you're making money. It's continuing to make money even when you don't go and check on it. What I also love about these business models is that you can scale it up, right? So if one machine can make you about $1,000 a month, five machines can make you 5,000, 10,000, and you see where I'm going from here. Now with ATM machines, it's pretty similar, right? So you're making money off of the transaction fee. So when someone goes to pull out $20, you all have been to an ATM before, that $3.50 fee, that's what you're getting paid. So 100 customers paying you that per month, right? Do the math. And a hundred people could come in a day, depending on where your vending machine is. Some popular locations are going to be convenience stores, anywhere where there's a lot of foot traffic. So think about nightclubs, think about near parks, think about you know areas like that. These are good places for vending machines. So again, comment vending and ATM below and I will make sure I link you guys up with my course and product. Now, another unsexy business, okay? but one that I actually am excited about and I am going to set my sights on to get is a laundromat. Now, here's what I need you to understand. When I was living, this was probably back in 2015, um, the apartment complex we were living in at the time, it didn't come with a washer and dryer in the unit. Like a lot of apartments don't because it's more expensive. And so I was at the laundromat 
And I just remember seeing like all these quarters. The the owner came in and was doing like a dump, right? Taking out the quarters and refilling and it was like a bucket. Now well, let's do the math. It takes four quarters to make up a dollar. And I know I saw, you know, over a thousand quarters. I'm sure of it. And that was just from one machine. So I want you guys to think about what are recession proof businesses. People are always gonna need to wash their clothes. People are always gonna need to get cash out of the machine, at least for right now. People are always gonna want snacks, right? They're always gonna be hungry. They're always gonna have a last minute need. So these are the unsexy businesses that don't require you to be on camera. They don't require you to be a content creator, but that you can always make money. Now let's talk about where you can find a laundromat business. So you can go to a site called biz by sell, B-I-Z, buy sell um, dot com now this site sells a lot of businesses but here is where you are able to essentially treat it like zillow.com the same way you would go and look for a house or apartment you can look for a business to buy now one of the great ways to finance this would be to utilize business credit so getting a down payment or getting the entire amount of funding to purchase the laundromat a lot of time these owners will also offer seller financing which means that that if you give them 25 to 30 percent they will finance the rest for you and you just make them monthly payments until the loan is paid off so i want you guys to realize these things are not as impossible as we, you might think they are. The average laundromat, depending on your location, can be bought for anywhere between $75,000 to $150,000. And 10% of that is 7K, right? Or 15K. You can definitely secure a $10,000 business loan or line of credit, and now you've got something to start working with. Um, another unsexy business that I will definitely dive into more in a part two, if you guys would like, are car washes. And not just any car washes, but the self-serve car washes to be specific. Now, I've definitely been to my share of self-serve car washes. I'm sure you have too. Even just to get something out of the car, right? Those machines that you know use the air and you get whatever is in the seats out we've all put a couple quarters into those now think about the numbers of customers visiting those on a daily weekly monthly basis that's adding up you find yourself collecting anywhere between four thousand to eight thousand dollars a month out of that car wash business and this is all passive you're not there standing washing the cars passive income and that's just at the minimum right always think about the locations that you're in can also determine the success that you have now one thing i do want to say about these unsexy businesses or these businesses where you don't have to be in front of the camera is think about this being something you could do with a family member someone that you trust your husband even that something you set up for your children these are long-term businesses that will lead to you having long-term passive income so I know right now, you know, a lot of the time when we talk about businesses, it seems like you're going to have to be forced to be on camera, forced to create content. But truly, there are so many types of businesses you can have where no one even knows it's you. And we love that. So I want you guys to comment part two down below and I can definitely do another video on these unsexy or invisible businesses, you know, that don't require you to be the content creator. And uh, let's talk about how we can get some funding for those as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.